In this video, we're continuing on with our compound inequalities free CUDA software worksheet within Infinite Algebra 1, and we're going to do numbers 7 through 12. Remembering that when you have OR, it means union, and AND means intersection. So for number 7, we have 7v minus 5 is greater than or equal to 65 as our first inequality. Adding 5 to both sides will give us that 7v is greater than or equal to 70. Then we'll divide by 7 to get that v is greater than or equal to 10. Then in the right inequality, we have negative 3v minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 2. We're going to add 2 to both sides to get that negative 3v is greater than or equal to 0 divide by negative 3, and since we're dividing by a negative, we're switching this inequality. So we're going to get that v is less than or equal to 0. So we have v is greater than or equal to 10, or v is less than or equal to 0. v is greater than or equal to 10. We're going to circle the 10, fill that in, and shade everything to the right v is less than or equal to 0, we're going to circle the 0, fill that in, and shade everything to the left. And that's the answer for number 7. In number 8, we have negative 10b plus 3 is less than or equal to negative 37, or, so it's going to be another union, 3b minus 10 is less than or equal to negative 25. Let's solve the inequality on the left first. We're going to subtract 3 from both sides to get that negative 10b is less than or equal to negative 40. When we divide by negative 10, we're going to have to flip the inequality sign. So this will be b is greater than or equal to 4. On this side, we're going to start by adding 10 to both sides. That will give us 3b is less than or equal to a negative 15. We're going to divide by 3 to get that b is less than or equal to a negative 5. So we have b is greater than or equal to 4, or b is less than or equal to negative 5 as our solution to this compound inequality. So b is greater than or equal to 4. We're going to locate the 4, circle, shade it in, and b is greater than or equal to, so it's everything to the right. b is less than or equal to negative 5, circle, fill in, and it's everything to the left. On to the second page, number 9, and, so this is going to be the intersection. On the left hand side, I'm going to add 1 to get 5 in is greater than negative 25. Then I'll divide by 5 to get that n is greater than a negative 5. In this right inequality, I'm going to add 2 to both sides to get that 7n is less than or equal to 14. And when I divide by 7, I get that n is less than or equal to 2. So I have n is greater than negative 5 and n is less than or equal to 2 as my solution to this compound inequality. So that means n can be values that are greater than negative 5, and n also has to be values less than or equal to 2. So I'm going to find that negative 5, circle it, and normally I would shade everything to the right, except I'm going to have to do the intersection. So if I was shading to the right, then I'll do n is less than or equal to 2, circle, fill that in, and then shade to the left. You can see that my intersection occurs here. So cleaning this up, I'm going to shade in everything between negative 5 all the way up to including the positive 2. You can also combine this to say that negative 5 is less than n, which is less than or equal to 2. In number 10, we have negative 50 is less than 7k plus 6, and 
7k plus 6 is less than negative 8. I'm going to start by subtracting 6 from all sides. Negative 50 minus 6 is negative 56, and that's less than 7k, which is less than negative 8 minus 6 is negative 14. Then I'm going to divide everything by 7. We'll get a negative 8 is less than k, which is less than a negative 2. Now I'll go ahead and graph that. Negative 8 is less than k, which is less than negative 2. Number 11, I have 8x plus 8 is greater than or equal to negative 64, and negative 7 minus 8x is greater than or equal to negative 79. Starting with the left inequality, we're going to subtract 8 from both sides. That'll leave us with 8x is greater than or equal to negative 72. When we divide by 8, we'll get that x is greater than or equal to a negative 9. The right inequality, I'm going to add 7 to both sides to get that negative 8x is greater than or equal to a negative 72. Then I'm going to divide by a negative 8. And because I'm dividing by a negative, I have to switch the inequality sign. So that's going to become x is less than or equal to a positive 9. So I have x is greater than or equal to negative 9 and x is less than or equal to 9. So I can write this as negative 9 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 9. So when I graph this, Negative 9 is between negative 8 and negative 10, and 9 is between 8 and 10, and I'm filling in everything in between. Now to number 12, our last problem for this video. But before we do this, please remember to click that subscribe button and go ahead and while you're at it, like the video as well. For number 12, we have 2n plus 7 is greater than or equal to 27 or 3 plus 3n is less than or equal to 30. Working with the right inequality first, we'll subtract 3 from both sides to get that 3n is less than or equal to 27. Divide by 3 to get that n is less than or equal to 9. Now working on the left, we're going to subtract a 7 from both sides to get that 2n is greater than or equal to 20 divided by 2 to get that n is greater than or equal to 10. So we have that n is greater than or equal to 10 or n is less than or equal to 9. n is greater than or equal to 10. We're going to circle the 10, fill it in, and shade everything to the right n is less than or equal to 9. We're going to circle the 9, fill that in, and shade everything to the left. Please join me in the next video where we'll finish out this worksheet doing numbers 13 through 18.